Well, you've arrived. You're a professional. You're someone who has paid their dues. And now you're decorating. Maybe that office. Maybe your home study. I don't know. And this is the piece you've been looking for. Folks, an original turn of the century. Lawyers. Bookcase. Lawyers, judge, ambassador, government, uh, dignitary, you pick. Brilliant, fantastic, let's go through it. So, all done in hardwood. I would expect it's done in mahogany. This is a three-piece unit. The bottom piece is a uh, lion's feet on the bottom, uh, the mid cabinet, which sits on that, and then, of course, the top crown. All these pieces uh, come apart and are held together with fasteners. Uh, a for transit, but uh, uh, B for ease of packing when you get into your location. Uh, original glass. Um, this is the original turn of the century glass. If you come and inspect it, you'll see the, the slight wave that you can see in the glass. And it's so rare to find uh, glass doors that are original like this. So many of them have been broken due to carelessness. And this is, uh, this is a cabinet that was uh, lived a life of luxury and is in spectacular condition. Measurements, uh, 78 inches from floor to ceiling, 16 inches deep, and when I say deep, you'll see the crown molding on the top comes out, and uh, you know, it's a little thinner inside again for the, as it is a bookcase, and comes out again at the bottom. Original finish, and original hardware, and original glass. The uh, drawers themselves are in a class, just give them a quick turn like so. And they're on a skeleton key, so it's easy to use a skeleton key should you should desire to do so. The shelving is original, as are the fasteners. It's how they work. I'll show you real quick. I'm going to lift this shelf up, and you can see these original um, uh, scheme for changing the orientation of the shelf. You've got this indention that runs the length of the cabinet, and you basically modify those sliders to hold onto your shelves. The shelves are all solid wood. And again, I'm, I'm feeling, this is not oak because the grain is not pronounced. I'm feeling like it is a mahogany based on the luxuriousness of the unit and based on the time period. And again, if you inspect the glass, the, the glass is the biggest giveaway of the time period of this particular piece. And it is brilliant. I'm gonna take some photos and they're gonna be higher quality in this video. This video is simply a walkthrough so you can see some of the aspects of the unit. But this came out of an extremely well-heeled estate where money was no option, or object rather. And, uh, you know, a man of industry used this for a long time until he expired. And now it's available for uh, the next captain of industry to take its helm. Uh, the backboards are all original, and you can see they're nice, thick, wide backboards. This entire board on the back is a giant, singular piece of wood. Um, I don't think you would ever find, I'm going to measure that, but that finding a board, you can see it there, that board is, is huge. You would never see that in modern construction. Again, these give off the hallmarks of its antique nature. Actually made at a time, likely before the even, uh, there were the monikers put on the actual piece. What can I say? It's a brilliant piece of furniture. So again, study the pictures. They're going to be higher quality in this video, and I want you to check those out. Uh, but again, if you're someone who has arrived, who is decorating and, you know, if you have this cabinet in your office, this is a commanding piece of furniture. Um, it says, I've arrived, I know what's going on, I know what to do, I know how to do the job. And if that's the image you want to convey, then this is definitely the kind of cabinet you want to have. It's going to sell quickly because if you wander into, go down to Toronto and look for some of these cabinets, two, three, four thousand dollars easy. And uh, this is just being liquidated in such a way that... Uh, um, it's not needed by the estate, and, and uh, we like it to sell reasonably quickly, but I'm certainly not going to give it away. So if you're that lucky buyer, congratulations. Send me a text, email, or phone call, and I'll sell it to you. Thanks, guys.